Hello and welcome to video number six. This is Smart OTO Real Example and in relation to products. So now that we've covered how to create a funnel and what it looks like to map it out, let's talk about some real life examples. Now because products and services can drastically be different, what we wanna do is we wanna ensure that you understand how to implement this inside of your business. So in this particular video, we're gonna talk about how to create smart one-time offers for products. So if you have a service, you don't have a product, or but if you have a mixture of products and services, I would recommend that you watch this one and the next. But if you do not have products and you're just purely 100% a service-based business, then I would rather you skip this video and go to the next, all right? But you might learn a few things by watching this video before watching the next. So let's head over to the flowchart system again and let's find a product and break it down in relation to products. So before we map out a product funnel, what I wanna say is that you do not really need to have to have products throughout your funnel, meaning you could have a mixture of different varieties of products, of information products, to better educate people about your product and more. So if you're selling, let's say for example, even an e-commerce physical product, you could use a training course or an ebook or a report as a lead magnet or even a front end offer to get people more educated about the product that you are selling. So just keep that in mind that every single thing in your product funnel does not need to be a product. So if you're doing an e-commerce product, you know, the front end offer, the one time offer and all that does not have to be an e-commerce product. It can be, or you could do the lead magnet as a video training, but you have to really think about how, how much does somebody need to be educated about my product before they decide to actually buy my product so you really need to figure out okay is that going to be in the lead magnet phase or is that going to be in the actual front end offer so what i'm saying is don't feel like you have to stick with one specific type of one-time offer over and over again throughout your whole funnel so for example we'll talk about service-based businesses in the future but you can actually mix and match between a product and a service solely based upon what you think will help somebody become more educated about your product. In addition to that, how will that bring them closer to actually wanting to buy your the biggest, baddest one-time offer? All right. So let's do a product here. And let's just let's just go ahead and do that. Let's do an e-commerce product. Let's say that we are selling scuba gear. And the OTO, let's do an OTO3 for the sake of simplicity. So scuba gear is going to be basically everything, like all in one package kind of thing. All in one package. So this is kind of the everything, you get everything in the scuba gear package to help you stay below service for a longer period of time. So if that's the unique selling proposition of your product, then maybe down the line here, you could have a lead magnet that talks about something like how to stay below water for a longer amount of time. So we haven't really figured out, is that going to be our lead magnet? Is that going to be our front end offer or anything like that? What I want you to do is just splat that on the paper. So we've got OTO3 and I would ask you, in addition to that, if we move one step backward or even two step backwards, what do we think would be there? So since the scuba gear is an all in one package, maybe we focus on the scuba mask. So if somebody buys a scuba mask, you can say, hey, you bought the scuba mask, but I'm going to offer you the scuba gear for like half off or something. So let's go here 
and let's do let's do so for simplicity let's do OTO2 so this is a, a product so we'll do this as OTO1 and then maybe a front end offer so this could be a lead magnet it could be a front end offer but let's say for example we want to make a course to show people how to stay below water for a longer amount of time or whatever unique selling proposition that fulfills this or essentially solves somebody's problem, right? So they go from here. They're looking to stay below water for a longer amount of time. And then maybe you, you present them after that. You say, okay, I've, I've trained you, I've educated you. And then here's a scuba mask that will help you do just that. And then after they buy that, you could say, you know, we are we normally sell the scuba gear all in one package for, you know, such and such price, but you're going to get 50% off if you buy it right now kind of thing. So they're already in the frame of mind, thanks to this part here, that they are well educated. They bought the course so that they're well educated. And because you educated them, you have essentially gained their trust. And because they trust you, they're more likely to buy your funnel. So that's something that you could do for an e-commerce type product. Now, let's say it's a information product. So let's say that uh, we won't do a service and we can do a service in the next video. But let's say, for example, that this is a product. So maybe we could do scuba diving training advanced training and then we could do scuba diving so OTO2 is the biggest baddest bonus that we can offer and that's the advanced training so maybe OTO1 could be scuba diving not basic training but maybe intermediate training and then maybe at that point the front end offer could be scuba diving basic training could be the front end offer so think about it for a second I move backwards and this is more advanced sort of less advanced and a lot more less advanced so now when we move back from here forward it's gonna be somebody comes in they're interested in learning basic training and they're still new. So maybe you provide them with intermediate training. You say, okay, we normally offer this at 200 bucks, but today you'll get access to it for a hundred bucks. So after you complete your basic training, you'll have access to this immediately afterwards and then so on and so forth. So that's what I would do for a product, but you kind of get the gist here. This is fairly simple as long as you start with this as the top level and then move down so in this case I kind of use the skill level from top middle bottom so that when we go from here to here it's a progression upwards right so you could use that method you could use the method I taught you before you could use any method but hopefully that gives you a better idea on how to essentially create your OTO funnel for more free educational content visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.